Pennsylvania's small town of Sailorsburg is known for its lavish greenery and the retreat camp turned command center for Fethullah Gulen, a 76-year-old Turkish Muslim cleric and businessman who's been in self-exile for almost 20 years. And his organization has long been accused of illicit activities in Turkey, including terrorism. It's been indicted in Turkey for stealing national exam papers to enable its members to infiltrate state institutions. And Gulenists are accused of plotting the failed coup in Turkey last year. Fethullah Gulen lives a secluded life here in this massive compound in rural Pennsylvania under 24-hour security watch. Most visitors enter here very discreetly and for a religious figure with hundreds of thousands of followers, Gulen himself keeps a very low profile. Rarely does he allow journalists to visit and he hardly ever gives interviews. Even Gulen's next-door neighbor knows very little about him. He's been there, what, 18, 19 years? I don't even remember how, but I have no, never and seen the man. They say he's there. We don't know. Nor do others nearby. Him or his agenda, uh, as much as they are curious about what goes on there because it's just so um, hidden, um, there's guards, no one really knows what, what goes on up there. Turkey has sent about 80 dossiers it says are evidence of Gulen's criminal activities and it's officially requested his extradition. In Turkey, the impression has been, all right, we know Gulenists were involved in the coup, we know Gulenists take orders from Gulen, therefore, what's the issue? Why can't you extradite him? Whereas from the perspective of the U.S. legal system, which is going to be in the position of deciding the extradition issue, uh, it's quite clear that what's necessary to extradite Gulen is not simply evidence that members of his organization might have been involved in the coup, but evidence that he personally was involved in the coup. Turkey's lawyer argues that Gulen's organization committed crimes not just in Turkey, but also in the U.S. and abroad, where he set up religious schools. This is a criminal organization. This is a mafia. This is as, as big a threat to American national security um, uh, as I've ever seen. Certainly, in terms of their ability to steal money from the American taxpayer, it is without parallel. Gulen's extradition will be Turkish President Erdogan's top request from the U.S. administration. And if it turns him down, it could damage relations between the two nations for the long term. It is Tian Shan, TRT World, Sailorsburg in Pennsylvania.